Welcome everyone to Story ADU Module 2, which is covering Introduction to Storytelling. Today we'll cover the following learning objectives. Understanding the concept of storytelling, theory of storytelling, examples in practice, and storytelling in an interprofessional setting. We'll go through the following core concepts during this presentation. The history and theory, the fundamentals, storytelling in healthcare, some key studies and model, model cases, as well as practical examples. Storytelling has a very rich history and has been a powerful tool with the capacity to enhance teaching and research. It is a therapeutic, non-invasive human process which dignifies and respects the humanity of the person. It exists in many cultures, particularly in Africa, but also in cultures with indigenous people across North America and Australasia. In Europe, cultures such as Celtic nations, Romani people have used oral tradition and storytelling to record their history. It is interesting to note that Charon links the origin of medical profession to the linguistic roots. The word medicine comes from the Latin medico, from medeo, I heal or cure, which is related to the Greek verb medume, to take care of, think, execute with great art. Now, if we look at the theory of storytelling, there are strong connections between narrative slash storytelling and medicine. However, the entrenchment of healthcare professional relationships excludes the patient from being part of the process of getting better. For example, people can come to terms with their problems by speaking about them. And that there, and that there are de definitive positive psychological impacts on human beings when storytelling is employed as an embodied experience. Often in healthcare settings, problems will appear to emerge as a result of unsatisfactory dynamic, power dynamics between healthcare professionals who seek to mend that person rather than engage with their stories. In this way, the healthcare professional interrupts constantly the stories that are being expressed. When we consider storytelling as a concept, we can define it as a holistic and culturally co-created experience which authentically navigates and engages human beings in a dynamic process of sharing, learning, and celebrating our interconnected lives. Within the concept of storytelling, there are four essential elements. Perspective, narrative, interactivity, and medium. All of these are extremely important in understanding what storytelling is. Along with the elements, there are also four defining attributes to storytelling. It is a form of intera interactional communication, experiential learning and socialization. It reflects lived experiences and also stresses extremely the personal perspective of that person whose story it belongs to. Now that we have an understanding of the history, context, and elements and attributes of storytelling, we can look at its relevance in healthcare practice. In a survey conducted by this project involving over 250 healthcare educators and practitioners, 82% agreed that storytelling can help to humanize health, care, health and social care. However, 52% under the age of 30 and 38% of those aged 30 to 40 had never heard of storytelling. And 71% felt they needed more skills to use storytelling within their courses and within their practice. Now, let's look at its potential use in healthcare settings. Storytelling has the potential to enable many things. The co-creation of healing stories for both patient and staff, which are critical to healthcare the celebration and exploration of shared identities, the reaffirmation of the humanity that exists between each person and community, which empowers and honors all those who participate. And lastly, the reintegration of mental and spiritual health in the healing process, rather than narrowly approaching it as a biomechanical goal. 
We are in the healthcare setting and witnessing the impact of disease and illness. We should consider the lives and stories of the communities in which the patients live and in the manner of storytelling that might be utilized. Let us also consider some challenges involved in the humanization of healthcare, which can be overcome in the following ways. Utilization of the storytelling approach is in contrast to the fixed close question, yes or no. It empowers patients and healthcare professionals to develop their humanity, to have an open dialogue. Through the deliberate, deliberate weaving of disciplines and concepts, through storytelling, interprofessional education and humanization within the healthcare curri curriculum, it, it is also important to encourage collaboration and ap application of mixed methods, which are culturally relevant supplemented by tools that prioritize the stories from vulnerable patients, which prevent healthcare professionals interrupting individual stories, as well as prioritization of developing a holistic relationship with patients, which involves caring communication, discussing medication administered and practicing a humanistic based approach, using effective and interesting teaching methods which are alternative to traditional teaching methods in order to support meaningful learning and to address the challenges and changing characteristics of learning. Finally, understanding that the validity of narrative and storytelling as approaches to learning and social awareness for medical professionals and in practice, in effect, could not only enhance the training and care provided by healthcare professionals, but can also offer other beneficial effects, which such as better medication, sleeping more, eating well, and providing person-centered care. Now we can finish by looking at a model case, combining all elements of storytelling. And we encourage you to pause the video here and spend some time reading and analyzing the two cases in detail. Globally, many countries are incorporating storytelling in practice, and this can, be, and this can provide inspiration and ideas for use globally. All these examples of storytelling practice have three key fundamental similarities, a purpose to enact positive change in healthcare systems, a narrative that interacts with those who listen to it, ensuring it is impactful, and they reflect lived experiences and focus on personal perspectives. Additionally, these three fundamental areas can be used in a wide variety of healthcare settings, they can be presented through multiple mediums, such as in-person or digitally, and also applied to both interprofessional and multi-stakeholder situations. To conclude this module, we would like to highlight the following areas. That despite, well, despite widespread agreement that storytelling is a powerful tool for humanizing healthcare, the integration of storytelling into healthcare practice remains limited. Using storytelling in healthcare settings requires healthcare professionals to be open to communicating and learning from patients and their colleagues, as well as appreciate the value of lived experiences and personal perspectives. Lastly, storytelling can bring multiple benefits to healthcare professionals, interprofessional teams, patients, and family members, ultimately leading to better healthcare outcomes and delivering care in a more humanized manner. Thank you for listening and we hope you enjoyed this module.